the way I do an SEO interview with our clients is what really brought it to the forefront. I had a seminal moment of understanding that the first thing you need to do is give, right? You need to lead with value. You can't show up yes. asking for stuff. Did you exactly. have a moment like that? Was that something you just learned growing up? How did you, how did you get to that principle as a guiding principle for your life? You know, it's funny. It's like you see it around you and you're influenced by it, but you don't necessarily put a name to it. Mm -hmm. And then I started putting a name to it when I started working with my marketing clients. So the book actually is actually their stories. And then uh, I knew that I needed the COVID pandemic to actually uh, germinate and manifest this thing to finally be published because it's been on my heart for several years. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I think the way I do an SEO interview with our clients is what really brought it to the forefront. So let me do a brief explanation. When we sit down with a marketing client and we are writing the content of their website, we are blending the storytelling and the keywords for SEO into one. It's a both of an art and a science. The way most marketing agencies do it is they send you a one sheet and say, Pablo, I'm going to write your website. Could you please fill out this one sheet? Could you please tell me who you are and all that stuff? And you send that to us and we're going to write your content off of that. That's good, but I take it to the next level. I interview my clients for a minimum of two hours, sometimes three, but usually two hours gets the job done. And I ask them really basic open-ended questions. What makes you special and unique? Who is your target demographic? What is your why? And because it's for SEO, which cities and neighborhoods and districts are you targeting? Like, what are your geolocations? Those four questions really help people share who they are. And they're so open-ended that they can go off in different directions. And Pablo, most of the time, everyone kind of tells me about the same thing. I'm honest. I have integrity. I do things right the first time. They share about the same stuff in the first 45 minutes. That's just usually how it works. But after that 45 minute mark, they start relaxing because they know that we're like huge fans of theirs by then. And then they start really like showing glimmers as to what their why is, what their purpose is. And they're more vulnerable. Everyone's got their thing. And I've been blessed over all of these years to take their stories and tell them. And, and they've really like sat with me. It's like, wow, that's an amazing, that's an amazing give. And so it's just really kind of accumulated. And also too, what's kind of a side benefit is I get business coaching every single time I do an interview with a client because I get a window into their soul and they're showing me their best practices and best procedures. And then I can learn from that going, wow, I want to do that for my team. So just as they say that the, those who teach can't, I would like to challenge at saying those that teach learn. Mm -hmm. People who mentor learn from their students. And it's this beautiful reciprocity that we all grow and lift each other up as we interact and share our stories. That's beautiful.